I think your hairdresser must have a PhD. It was my twin brother. <laughs> what do you think of my brother's hair fashion sense? I think it proves that he's still the asshole that he was in graduate school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were just joking, right? No, my name is Mark Levitt and I support this message. This is a film oh. about, about hair. Oops. John and I have been blessed with a glorious profusion of hair. We have it. We have luxurious hair. Here, here, there's hair up there, here. Unlike the younger generation, we still have hair down here. I actually shaved my arms for a recent swimming meet, but it's growing back nice and thick. My brother and I are identical twins, but due to the, one of the accidents in nature, well, I would just say that he likes to keep his hair trimmed. <laughs> Hey. Can you show um, Uncle John and the YouTube viewers the new trends in male hair trimming? Is it still itch? <laughs> <laughs> what? We both are kind of losing our hair a, a tiny bit, so you're going for a short hair look? Is that the correct? The less is more. I usually try to buzz it because those tiny little downy hairs look like they could be actual hairs when they're next to ones that have been shaved. Recently, I decided to go for the a comb over. Your comb over, um, <laughs> I have a friend. He's a little over 60. He has crepey, cadaverous skin like ours. He started dyeing his hair. You've got like this ancient skin juxtaposed by, with teenage colored hair and it just looks horrible. The comb over, I know it's ridiculed by many, but if you part it low and let it grow and just sweep forward that way, it's pretty convincing. At least I think so. But you had a theory about height and comb overs? It works for tall men. Like Ben could get away with a comb over because no one could see it. But for a short man, this is what they say. They just see a healthy head of hair. Very handsome. But then if you're like 5'6 or 5'7 and a little bit tall enough. Well, that's why the person with the comb over has to have a flexible neck to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vast sargasso sea of, <laughs> like in the middle of the ocean, there's supposedly all this plastic. You've got kind of the opposite of that. There's just a big void. Wait, 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 Ben, stop. The first thing for me is I, when I have bad head, you have to brush it vigorously to get it to stand up. <laughs> there are different attachments that comes with the clippers. And Jim wants a very short haired look. So we're gonna put the number one I used to go with number two, but... Yikes. We're gonna do a little topiary work. Let me say that Jim was a member of the Campus Crusade for Christ. One way. It's not the greatest cross, but you get the oh. idea. It is a little harder to do it yourself, because... This is John and I when we were more likely to have hair. Here, maybe. Okay. When we were younger, we had to mow the lawn for our father. Another image of John and me from our younger years. Our little sister Lizzie with her hippie hair. I want to overlap the strips slightly. So there won't be any dead soldiers. Oops, there's a when. I'll have to sunbathe my scalp. You're in the army now. Jim and I have been watching the Pacific. We enjoy rough, manly combat from the comfort of our couch. As couches. As, and Jim now looks like one of those Marines, but fortunately doesn't have to engage in any danger. Right. Get up, get up, move, 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 move. Get Anyone up allowed? Move, go. Get up, get up, get up, get up, move, move. <laughs> it is kind of like cutting grass because there are very thin, wispy stragglers. They just bend to the ground, the mower goes over them, and then they pop right back up and sort of 
I want to try to save as many of this thick stuff on top as possible. We'll just... Jim is using the alfalfa bowl technique. You have a lot of wispies back here. This has got more wispy wear than a Fleetwood Mac concert. <laughs> I've been the pioneer of looks. Like, I came up with the pencil thin mustache look that sort of revolutionized Thornton fashion for about three weeks. I think this should be called the Radley. Radley? Like Boo Radley? Exactly, <laughs> after Boo. <laughs> Women are going to say, I want him to be my Boo. This is John's famous cow look right there. That's how, when we were kids, people could tell us apart. So I'm gonna just leave that. I'm gonna go around the cow look. It's like a little bird's nest. It is, it's like a little tiny Katrina. Right in the I'll middle. I'll leave of it then. It, I was I'm, thinking of a Taurus oh, bulba. Oh God, that is, oh buddy, this is a look. This is a look. This is gonna take some careful work. I should have entered you in a competition. <laughs> really? We're gonna need to moose this, but it is pretty good. <laughs> A um, physicist friend said that the cowlicks follow the electrical magnetic fields in the brain. Is that true? Yeah. So that I have quite an interesting pattern in there. But regardless okay. of what else, we are leaving that. And then people will definitely be able to tell us apart. Okay. I want the comb over to be left alone. All right, let's, there's a Mark Harmon quality to you. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> oh God, you look like something out of the Marine Corps. I, I have extensive neck hair that you might want to try to trim. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try to demonstrate it by pulling on it. Watch John's ear. Oh, yeah, I have an ear hair. I've had this for years. Ow! Should I get it? Well, no, 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 no. I like that ear hair. Jim has been telling me that my comb over effect really isn't that attractive, and I think I'm going to review the footage to see okay, if. Okay, wait, let me. Your scalp has a <laughs> nice natural wool's lanolin effect. But I'm going to quickly get the cowlick all tidied. There. The cowlick looks perfect. There's hair over here that looks unsightly to me. It's like blowing in the wind. Well, that's, that's, oh, that's what, what it the... always looks like. <laughs> all right, well, it just needs to be combed over a little bit. Let me just bow down. I want to see. Pretty it up just a touch. I sort of reviewed the footage and my brother was right. This really doesn't look that good. I guess there's reason that people uh, say you shouldn't do a comb over if you're going bald. It doesn't fool anybody. It well, fooled me and it fooled me. <laughs> you only see this part. <laughs> you see this. From this angle, it looks pretty good. But right <laughs> here, it looks like you have hair. But right. <laughs> the footage tells the truth. Right, let's, and gonna, Jim is going to finish see, me off here. Doesn't that look thick now? Well, actually, you look totally <laughs> bald. I'm not as bald as you are, I don't think. Actually, I am, but. I do think we ought to leave this. It looks kind of like a hair tumor. But there's a Taurus bulba quality. I think it actually does look kind of cool. You might be a hit with your young students. It may look a little bit too much like the thing one of my young students called me uh, yesterday. <laughs> Asshole. All right, I think that both of us, if just allowed to revert to nature, we, we shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> Excuse me, can I have your attention? I'm going to show you my hairstyle. I'm going to ask whether I should keep it or not. Yeah. Alright, so take a good look at it. It's actually a cowlick. It does actually go on its... It is a cowlick. Keep it for as long as possible. Alright, and you thought it was like a cute little soft ferret that you like to pet, right? Uh, it's like Pat the Bunny in the book. Pat the Bunny in the book. Okay, now raise your hand if you think I should shave it off. One, Shave it off. two, three, Shave it off. four. All right, raise your hand if you think I should keep it. One, two, three. <laughs> <Hey>. Asshole. <laughs>